guys welcome back to my channel so I hope you guys are all doing well and without further ado this is the video that I had promised about tanning for dark-skinned individuals I'm um, actually let me turn up my windows sorry I'm recording in the car because every time I get home to record I always forget because my schedule has been so busy since the competition so um, I just decided to do it on my lunch break and yeah, so let's get right into the video. So should dark skin individuals get tans for competitions? I Before I competed, I was looking everywhere for these videos and to figure it out because first of all, tans cost money. They're about like $150 or so for two coats. So if I could avoid paying that, I wanted to avoid paying that. But for some reason, I really couldn't find any videos. And I think I only found one or two videos and they were just telling you how to apply the tan they didn't really tell you if you needed it or why it was important so basically yes long and short yes you do um need to tan even if you're the darkest of the darkest individuals you need to tan the reason being the lights from the stage are so 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 bright that they just wash out your skin and you might think well i'm dark like it's not gonna wash out my skin blah 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 yes it will it will actually make you look gray and I know this because I've seen uh, pictures and videos of uh, people who have competed and you could tell they didn't get the tan because everyone else around them looked all warm and dark and like rich whereas they they were just gray gray and ashy looking so the lights really are that strong they do wash out your tan like just imagine if it can wash out makeup it can wash out sorry it doesn't wash out your tan if it can wash out makeup it can wash out your skin color no matter how dark you are and the other thing is with the tan it's good because it really does make your muscles look more defined like even as a darkened individual your muscles look defined already with you being dark but it's the shadows that are cast by the tan that just makes it look that much more better so I would definitely say that would be another good reason to get the tan um a third reason to get the tan is because um discoloration so as a dark person you will know that we deal with hyperpigmentation really badly on different parts of our bodies like for some of us it's our stomach some it's the back of our legs or our bums or wherever else so it just really does help to even out the skin tone and i saw that really happened for me because i do have a slightly darker bum like it's not too dark but it's like a shade darker so that does help um also i do have a bit of stretch marks on my stomach from having my daughter so i would see it in natural light and i was afraid that you could see it on stage but because of the tan that they put on you really couldn't see it on stage so that was the other good thing and yeah pretty much it just makes the whole total package look that much better and you do look in sync with everybody else who is on stage and the tans do not get that crazy dark as i will insert pictures and videos of my tan the day before and the day of and right before and after the competition you will see that it was not that much crazy dark than what my my summer tan looks like now and you can tell them to go a bit easier like you can you can only you can get one coat if you want i would say get the two coats but you could you see that's the thing you don't even need to explain to them because most of the tanning companies they've been doing this for so long so they know different skin tones unless the person is new but the company i worked with they knew what they were doing and my tan looked amazing on stage like in person it does look a bit daunting but once you get on stage and you see the pictures and you see the videos it, it just blends in with the rest of you so definitely get the tan definitely get the two coats and the glaze and everything else that comes with it because i promise you you won't regret it and it does wash off after i let mine peel off just because i was too lazy to scrub it off of my skin but you can scrub it off and of course there are protocols to follow that the tanning company does tell you to um weeks in advance of competition like the skincare that you need to do but overall it's pretty self-explanatory so yes definitely get the tan if you're competing no matter how dark you are you won't regret it i promise you so yeah that was the video that was the short of it all if you guys have any questions or something that i didn't answer feel free to leave it in the comment section below and until next time bye good morning guys it's show day and this is how crusty i'm looking um i need chapstick i need water i need lotion 
I need deodorant. I need a shower. So luckily today I get to wash off the first layer of tan and then when I go back they put on the stage coat and the glaze. So this is what the tan is looking like. Let me put you guys somewhere uh, to kind of get a better view of it. Sorry, my room is a mess. What's new? This is the tan. This is the tan. This is the in natural light also. Of course, the sun isn't completely up right now because it's 5 a.m. I woke up this early because I didn't want to rush. I just wanted to give myself time to get ready and enjoy everything because the more you rush, the less you get to enjoy. So, yeah, this is the tan as you can see it's not that different from my face which makes me happy like it's dark but it's not noticeably dark so yeah check out the abs I just need to get the little booty pump going on because I haven't had carbs yet um yeah so I'm going to I tried on the suit just to make some final adjustments just to make sure that the girls are looking good and the funny thing is the girl I was sorry I'm out of focus the girl that I was most worried about, I'm checking now, and she looks to be the most full. Like, I don't know if it was the lighting or if she just decided to perk up now. But now I gotta readjust again. So, what else is new? Anyways, um, I'm gonna go take this off. I'm, I just started to take it off on camera. I'm gonna take this off, then I'm going to go next door because literally right next to me is a tim hortons coffee so i'm gonna go next door get myself a small black coffee and come back eat my breakfast so that it has time to get all through this body and then um i'm gonna take a shower start doing my makeup i figured out how i wanted to wear my hair i think it's gonna look cute we'll see if not i'm gonna throw some curls in there um but i will check in with you guys in a bit